Hello guys, in this video, I'll show you how to make a 5 digit code lock without microcontrollers. So let's get started. For this project, we need IC 4017. As this will be our 5 digit code lock, so we need five of them now first see the one IC connection the other four will be same as this pin number 16 should be connected to plus 5 volt and pin number 14 is connected with push to one switch and then it goes to plus 5 volt and also pin 14 is pulled down to the ground through a resistor 1 kilo ohm pin number 8 13 and 15 should be connected to ground. Now come to the output side. Pin number 3, 2, 4, 7, 10, 1, 5, 6, 9, 11. These are 10 outputs and these are connected to LEDs. Now cathode pin of all the LEDs are connected and then it is connected with a 220 ohms resistor and then it is connected to ground. So this is the one IC connection. Now we need this whole circuit for five times for five digit code lock. We need five times this circuit. So, so these five ICs for five digit code. Now after this we need another IC. It is IC 4073. Now it's pin number one, pin number two, pin number 3, 4 and 5. Now this first LED is for digit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 0. Now let's say our code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have to connect this first LED to this pin number 1, the second LED to the pin number 2 the third LED to the pin number 3 the fourth LED to the pin number 4 and the fifth LED to the pin number 5 now let's say you want to set a code 05982 so we know that the 10th LED is for 0 so pin number 11 should be connected to pin number 1 that is 10th LED. The 5th LED should be connected to pin number 2. The 9th LED should be connected to pin number 3. As next number is 8. So the 8th LED that is pin number 6 should be connected to pin number 4. And 2nd LED to the pin number 5. So this is how we have to set our code. Now after this, a pull down resistor should be connected. The value is 10 kilo ohms. Now it's pin number 6 and 8 should be connected. It's pin number 14 is connected to plus 5 volt and it's pin number 7 is connected to ground. Now after this we need another IC. Pin number 9 of this IC is connected to pin number 3 of this IC. It is 74373. This should be connected to ground. 10 kilo ohms resistor. It's pin number 20 is connected to plus 5 volt. And pin number 11 is connected with a resistor. Then the other side of the resistor is connected to plus 5 volt. The resistor value is 10 kilo ohms. Now come to pin number 2. Pin number 2 is connected with 10 kilo ohms resistor. And then we have a transistor. A meter of the transistor is connected to ground. And the collector of the transistor, it is connected to pin number 11. The transistor is BC547. After this, we need another IC. It is ULN2003. 
pin number 1 of this IC should be connected to pin number 2 pin number 9 is connected to plus 5 volt and pin number 8 is connected to ground then pin number 16 is connected with a relay and the other side of the relay is connected to plus 5 volt now with this relay you can control a high voltage device in this video I will connect a 100 watt bulb now it has 3 pins normally close common and normally open now here is our power supply it is phase and it is neutral and here is our 100 watt bulb now the phase is directly connected with common pin of the relay and normally open pin is connected with it and neutral is connected to the bulb so this is all about the connection now let's see this on the breadboard now first we will see the first part of the circuit put the IC for 017 pin number 8 13 and 15 are connected to ground pin number 16 is connected to plus VCC and pin number 14 is connected to ground through 1 kilo ohms resistor put the push to 1 switch one end of the switch is connected to plus VCC and other end is connected to pin number 14 connect this positive rail to this common positive rail and negative rail is connected to common negative rail do the same for these rails also now I am removing this and I will put a 220 ohms resistor the cathode of 10 LEDs are connected in common and then it is connected to ground through 220 ohms resistor so I will use this rail as ground and this rail as common cathode rails for LEDs now I am putting all the 10 LEDs the first LED is connected to pin number 3 second LED is connected to pin number 2 third LED is connected to pin number 4 fourth LED is connected to pin number 7 fifth LED is connected to pin number 10 6th LED is connected to pin number 1 7th LED is connected to pin number 5 8th LED is connected to pin number 6 9th LED is connected to pin number 9 and 10th LED is connected to pin number 11 so this is how one IC connection is completed now we have to do the same connection for 5 times After completing this, here is another breadboard. Now put the IC for 073. Pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are connected to ground through 10 kilo ohms resistor. Pin number 7 is connected to the ground and pin number 14 is connected to plus VCC pin number 6 and 8 both are connected together now put the IC 74373 after this pin number 1 4 7 8 10 13 14 17 and 18 these 9 pins 
all are connected together and then these are connected to ground now pin number 1 4 7 8 10 13 14 17 and 18 these all 9 pins are connected to ground and pin number 20 is connected to plus vcc pin number 11 is connected to plus vcc through 10 kilo ohms resistor now come to pin number 2 pin number 2 is connected with a 10 kilo ohms resistor and other side of the resistor is connected to base of the transistor the emitter of the transistor is connected to ground and the collector of the transistor is connected to pin number 11 pin number 9 of IC4073 is connected to pin number 3 of IC74373 and also pin number 3 of this IC is connected to ground through 10 kilo ohms resistor now put IC ULN2003 pin number 8 of this IC is connected to ground and pin number 9 is connected to plus 5 volt and pin number 2 of 74373 is connected to pin number 1 of ULN2003 now put 5 volt relay one side of the relay coil is connected to plus VCC and other side of the relay coil is connected to pin number 16 of ULN2003 now it's time to set our code as we want to set our code as 05982 so so pin number 1 of 4073 should connect it to 10th LED of first 4017 and in this circuit there is one correction as the second digit as 5 so we have to connect this pin number 2 to the 5th LED not the 7th one if 7th LED is connected then our code will be 07982 ok pin number 2 should be connected to 5th LED of 2nd 4017 pin number 3 should be connected to 9th LED of 3rd 4017 pin number 4 of 4073 should be connected to 8th LED to 4th 4017 and pin number 5 of 4073 should be connected to 2nd LED of 5th 4017 so this is how we can set our code as 05982 I have connected this to pin number 10 now the positive rail is connected to this positive rail and negative is connected to the negative rail and this negative rail is connected to this negative rail and you have to connect both the positive rail so this is how we have completed our breadboard connection now with this relay I will connect one high voltage device that is 100 watt bulb uh, like this and one pin of the bulb is connected to normally open pin of the relay and other pin of the bulb is connected to neutral and line from the supply or face is connected to common pin of the relay here I have connected double check your connection before supplying any power and if you want to know more about relay then watch my relay video the link in the description below 
Now as our connection is completed Now connect the 5 volt power supply Turning on And now I am turning on the high voltage 220 volt AC So as our code is 05982 so now as we know the tenth LED it is zero so I'll put this LED in this position and the second digit is five so that is fifth LED and then we have nine it is ninth LED after this we have 8 and the last digit is 2 so second LED so as our code is correct so the bulb is turned on now after this change your code because anyone can see your actual code now as you can see even if you change the code the bulb is still turned on and to turn off the device you have to turn off your power supply that is your circuit power supply okay I'm turning off and delay also tripped and again I'm turning on see this time the bulb is not turn, turning on and again I have to put it in correct position So this is how you can make a 5 digit code lock without microcontrollers. After completing this, you can solder all these components in a PCB to make your final project. In the next video, I'll show you how I have designed my project. So guys, this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubt on this, then let me know in the comment section. In the next video, I'll show you another project. Till then, stay happy and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.